Um, I'm going to be sharing with you the methodology of the GDPR analysis and us uh, on terms of how we did the analysis and then we share with you the findings and most importantly the implications on ASEAN and of course our recommendations. Each of the countries are bringing in data protection laws and the first place they're looking for inspiration is the GDPR. A number of the ASEAN countries are aligning towards the GDPR since EU has set a gold standard. Although the wordings in the laws could be slightly different but they come down to operational compliance at your day-to-day -day operational level, it should not differ too much from country to country. Here, it involves 511 cases of organizations getting into trouble. This is from the time that the GDPR went into effect. Uh, we were able to dissect down to the articles and we actually divided the articles into seven areas so that you can relate it to your own area within your data protection management program. 331 uh, cases involved some articles in the GDPR principles is made up 65%. So the first lesson we can draw from here is we all need to comply with the rules that govern how we collect, use, expose and store data and that is encompassed in the GDPR principles. 41% of all the cases involve lawful basics. 23% of all cases relates to the rights of individual and transparency issues. Google holds the, the dubious one. I mean, right now they honor uh, the highest record fine totaling 150 million. Take a look at the companies that got in trouble, there are more than 10 million euros in fines. So there's a lot of areas, but from an operational angle, here's a lesson for all of us. If you are DPO, make sure your organization complies with the rules. Get your operational procedures right, and a lot of the time, it's no more difficult to get them right in the sense of being compliant with that protection than it is to get them wrong. So just do it.